live once again here on the Cowboys Report. A busy day for the Cowboys, about a week into NFL free agency. They signed Chuma Adoga earlier this morning, and now they've added a running back. Ronald Jones is the second outside free agent signing for the Dallas Cowboys. So he said, why not go live, have some fun, potentially do some shots. We have changed the price point. Not having a Sunday disaster again, that was, that was something. But grade the signing, A, B, C, D, or F of Ronald Jones, 27% say A, 45% say B, 24% say C, 4% say D or F. I'm going to go with a B myself. I think that's that's the right ballpark uh, for the Ronald Jones signing. As we've said before uh, with the Adoga pickup, there is not a guarantee this is going to be a roster spot lock for Ronald Jones. No details known. Uh, One-year deal is all we know. I suspect uh, there will be limited guarantees uh, from that standpoint. So we'll wait and see what the actual contract details. Probably get those later today, tomorrow. Uh, given recent history, something tells me Todd Archer will have those details once they're they're submitted to the NFL Agency signs off on all of those. All we know right now is a deal was agreed to. I guess it's not even specifying a one-year deal. Um, so I should probably adjust that player card we have to just not mention. No, no, it's, it's a one-year deal. It's a one-year deal. We're good. We're good. Sorry, Michael Gelkin has the one-year deal, deal part. Shout out, Michael. For the signing, A, B, C, D, or F. It is up to 48% that say B. If you're like, I wanted a different running back or a draft pick in particular, this does not prevent you from doing that. Uh, Ronald Jones is not a, a roster lock type of player. You still want to take a back in round one, two, three, four, five, whatever. You can. You just don't have to take a running back because you at least have some bodies now between those play uh, between Ronald Jones. They brought back Rico Dowdle today. By the way, we'll talk about that later on in the show. Malik Davis, etc. So get the grades in A, B, C, D, or F. Some super chats and the super chat menu to break down for you guys here on today's show momentarily. I see B from Keith Arnold, C from Darren Angle, Mike Russell says C as well. This is the Super Chat menu. $5, beer cheers. We're jumping to 20 for shots. Uh, we set it at 10 for Brandon Cooks. That was a colossal mistake. I did at least have food today, which put me in a better spot there. The wheel is back. Producer Patrick has the wheel ready to ride. $25 for a wheel spin, 50 for plate slaps because we still are out of tortillas, so we'll just hit me real hard there. Uh, maybe Sam will come on. Sam wants to slap me pretty bad. $100, your name goes on the Cowboys Beer Hat of Honor. There are several initials uh, from the past week. Brandon Cooks also getting on there. Or not Brandon Cooks, but from the Brandon Cooks signing, he's on there. That is our Super Chat. Man, the beginning with sample email, $2. Let's go get Hankins and Wagner now. Um... Sure. I, my hopes of Bobby Wagner are low. Um, I, I don't think that's a likely outcome for this organization. I do think there is a very good chance Jonathan Hankins ends up back on this Dallas Cowboys team. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe later today. Maybe random on a Friday. I, I, would, I would be surprised if he wasn't back or some type of DT wasn't on this team. Uh, I did see Jeremy Chuggs' burner. Don't think that one uh, came in before we started live, so it was a little wonky there. Says Chance on Wagner. The yacht still has gas in it. The yacht boys are cooking, baby. Uh, I think it's a low chance, though, um, on, on Bobby Wagner. Jeffrey Ward, $5. Beer cheers. Nice and cold. Not a sponsor. <sighs> Ronald Jones, potentially to get back to form, but a solid pickup to stabilize the running back room. There is some upside. Uh, he's never been the guy I thought he was going to be coming out of USC. Um, Really liked him, liked his explosiveness, the big playability. Had one good year in Tampa, never recapitalized on that. Didn't do much of anything uh, in Kansas City this past year. That's kind of been the unfortunate standpoint for him. Um, maybe he gets back to form. Maybe he doesn't. Um, if he doesn't, he probably gets cut. If he does, great. You found a cheap veteran back to help out your running back room. Not a problem. $2, you know, saying we should. This is Jerry in free agency making moves. The Ronald Jones and Shuma Adoga signings are very classic Cowboys. This is this is a Dante Fowler, uh, James Washington type of move that, like, you have a piece so you don't have to address those positions necessarily 
in the draft, but if the right guy, guy falls to you, Sam Williams, et cetera, you, you still take him. Uh, it's the trades that have been so interesting. And, hey, maybe we avoid them in, in, into making the moves. I like that. Pug Racer is Ronald Jones, a.k.a. Rojo, better than Malik Davis. He's definitely a better athlete. Now, Ronald Jones has not been that productive in the NFL. We haven't seen that much of Malik Davis, just a little bit here and there. I would assume that Rojo, Davis, uh, Rico Dowdle, potentially a day three draft pick, another UDFA, all fight for a roster spot behind Tony Pollard. And I still think this team drafts a running back in the top 150-ish, uh, somewhere in that range. And if it ends up being three backs, then, hey, can Rojo help on special teams? Uh, I'm not so sure. Uh, and maybe he ends up not making the roster. Maybe he's a, maybe he's a practice squad guy for you. Uh, he's. I don't think the contract, and we'll see what the numbers look like. I could very well be wrong. I don't think the contract will be indicative of a roster lock type of player. The goal right now is a 50% like rate. That is cautiously set at 330. The current is 80 Five. That's our current like. So like the video if you like what we're doing. I will remind everyone, as long as these Super Chats are coming in, we will stay live here on the Dallas Cowboys report. So like the video. Some more Supers coming here in a moment. Let's see what that tweet's about. Uh, there we go. 50% uh, like rate is the goal we are at 690 people watching, so it's actually just under 50% uh, likes, but we're not going to change it on the fly because that's kind of cheating there. So like the video. We'll hang out here until we get there. I, oh, I didn't get any water. That might end up being a mistake. Maybe. We'll see. We'll see. I, I'm, I'm doing fine for now. We, we, we got a chance to eat lunch today, which which did not happen for Brandon Cooks, and I, I, I don't eat breakfast. So, it's, you know, that was a, hey, $20 for shots. We can get, we can get hammered again, but we do require you – uh, to actually, to, we're, we're not going to set it at 10. 10, 10. 10 was a bad a bad price point. So, 50% like rate. Current is 145. We are halfway there. Well, not quite halfway there. We're pretty close to it there. So, like the video if you like our coverage, if you like what we're doing here at Chat Sports. You know, we've, we, we promised you a second video. Ended up being another live video uh, for you guys. Who among us would have seen that one coming? That's what we chose to do for you guys because... Why not? We can have some fun here. Uh, we got producer Patrick back here again. 50% like rate is the goal. These are rookie numbers. Got to pump those numbers up right now. Jerry's making moves, Tom. The Yacht Boys are on fire. You look at where we were, uh, what was it, a week ago yeah. from today? Like that Monday, Tuesday show? Monday when they were like, yeah, I haven't done anything yet. Nothing to talk about. No. Stephon Gilmore, Brandon Cooks, Jerry's cooking. Keep right Donovan now. Wilson. You lose Noah Brown and Dalton Schultz. I know not all of you are, are even that upset about it, so... Hey, you're in fantastic shape there. 205 likes, and there's about 800 people watching. So a quarter of you-ish, loosey-goosey math, much like the salary cap space here, are not have not yet liked the video. Get that changed. Like the video right now. 50% like rate is the goal. Help us out. It'll show it to more people. We can continue to grow, have more success here at Chat Sports. We appreciate everyone who likes it. It's a free, easy thing to do. If we get to 3.30, in the next minute, I'll put a minute on the clock. Shot time for both of us. Shot time. I got the jack. Only a minute, We're though. We're getting low on the jack. The jack's almost gone. What's up, Chugs? Only a minute. What's up? I just heard minute. So yeah. shot clock act. If we, if we get to 330 likes in the next minute, I'll do a shot. Is that, we're, we're at 253. I think we can get there, but it's up to you guys. 40 seconds left. The goal is that it's not even 50% anymore because more audience is tuned in. It's actually at, you know, 45-ish, 44%, whatever it is. 276, 289, 30 seconds left. Oh, no. 50 more likes going to come down to the wire. I don't know. This is going to be close, 295. Fellas. 20 seconds left. Down to the wire. 307. You are live. Yeah. This is going to be 307. Tight. 314. This 15 is... likes away. 10 seconds. I think oh, we're going to get there. Oh, no. I think we're going to get there. 324. I think we're going to get there. This is so tough. 329. I'm going to give it one more update because we're at the minute. The next update will determine it. at 342. All right. We got there. <laughs> 
We got there. Let's go. That was close, guys. That, that came all the way down to the wire, but we got there. Appreciate we it. We got there. Shot time, then a bunch of super chats here. I'll show the menu again, too. Cheers. Yeah, shots are no longer. Shots are back up to 20. For my own health and my liver failure, which, of course, is not real, but so my liver does not fail. I, Because we're, again, out of tortillas, so honestly, it's I almost like it. Better from a, from the tortilla standpoint. It's firmer, it's, just, so. it's firmer, and you, you you can really wind up with, with yeah. the plate. Hundred dollars, your name on the Cowboys beer hat of honor, and a beer bomb out of it for. Or I'll do a beer bomb because it's just faster, easier there uh, for hundred bucks as well. All right, super chat time. Five dollars. Cheers to you. I'm a mad god of cod. There was a point I was really good in high school. I was I was really I was too good. Oh, I I love I, cod. I, I was too good at cod. They, they, uh, I, I was the Kyler was, Murray of COD. What was, what was your game? Deathmatch. Deathmatch? What, Death what was Match. the Call of Duty? Uh, Black was... Ops 2 was, was peak. Black, Black Ops 2 was the two peak of Call of Duty. Good take. Me. That's where I was at. Good As take. a Longhorn fan, I love to see Bijan of the Cowboys, but guard of Cyrus Torrance seems more likely given our new additions on offense. I think it's going to be BPA. And I think for them, if Bijan's there, he'd be the best player on their board. Uh, it's a matter of, do they trust the running back value there? Is there a wide receiver? A t- I think tight end really stands out as a potential area of focal point for the Dallas Cowboys, whether that's a Dalton Kincaid, a Michael Mayer, one of my guys, Darnell Washington. I would not be mad at Osiris Torrance. If you have doubts about him playing left guard, that's fair, but I'm a big fan of his game. Chris B. Uh, I don't mind these two depth signings today because we actually made bigger moves also. Jones and Schuma are usually the only things you would do. So yeah. Do more. This is exactly right. Yeah. This these last two moves. Cheers, by the way. That's a good point. Doga and Jones are classic Cowboys signings. Cheap veterans who may or may not make the 53-man roster. We'll see what the contracts look like there, etc. But when you add Stephon Gilmore, you still have roughly sixteen million dollars in, in signing cap or salary cap space. By the way, because Brandon Cooks took a pay cut. By the way, yeah, straight pay cut last night. I, I saw that. So I was very like I, I saw the alert from Todd Archer. I'm like, wait, what? Uh, pay like I'm like the money. Wait a minute, where did the sixteen million he was owed next year go? This year's just a restructure. Next year is a pay cut, which really? is which is pretty crazy uh, that the Cowboys got Cooks to that. So an even better deal there. Kachiri. Hey, the, the Yacht Boys are cooking today. This is an all-timer. Ecuador Jerry. man, AOG, is Elliot finally finished in Big D? Probably. Was this the nail in the coffin, you I, think? I mean, I think I think the actual nail will come when they take it back in the first four rounds. Yeah. I think that's where they take one. Because it, it's great class, so the value would be there, BPA-wise. Uh, that, at that point, you might, uh, you might kill it. All right, Jeffrey Ward, looking back, when was the last time Jerry Jones and Steven Jones were this aggressive in the offseason? Conspiracy? Um, <laughs> there's no proof that I have not taken over for the Cowboys. There's that no is true. proof of that yet. I don't know no what proof. Tom does when he's not at work. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, let's see what I was going through. Oh, um, Brandon Carr offseason. Can't really say that the, the Dontari Poe deal, because like, that was still kind of a gamble, and like they had ha-ha Clinton Dick, so that's like, you know... If they went out and signed, not even a Puna Ford player like that, would be like, you sign Sean Robinson, ask move there. So, um, Brandon Carr, it's been about a decade since the Cowboys were this aggressive. And I do wonder if maybe maybe a bit more behind the scenes, your quarterback said, hey, let's let's do some things. And, I think, and your head coach I know has. Um, but I think there's a bit more urgency from other non-Jones members of this team. Lenny V, 23, $5. Wait, I think I owe two beers. That, that one was a 5 too, right? Yes, yeah. cheers. Prescott does not perform well this year. What are our options going forward? What you should do is tank. Blow it up for a year or two and go get some different quarterback down the road. That's what you should do. Um, I Again, I am not that worried about it. Like Even in a down year... Still put up top 10 overall numbers. The interceptions killed you, of course. Didn't play well against, enough against the 49ers. But we're looking like, how do you go from quarterback 9 to quarterback like 5 or 4 in the playoffs? Yeah. It's a tough bar, but that's what you need right now. I, I think that's a pretty good spot to be in. I, I'd rather be in this spot than be in the, I don't know, 
the Jets spot, hoping that Aaron Rodgers comes to me or where the Jets have been for a decade. So if it's if it's his worst year ever, then you get a little bit concerned. Yeah. I still don't even know if last year was his worst year I ever. I mean, Stafford won one with the Rams. I mean, Stafford, Dak, yeah. I, I don't know. Same tier. Same, same tier type of guy. Like, same tier. And I think to an extent, it's also like, hey, those quarterbacks are a big reason why you've had success with your organization. Yeah. I, have, I, I have said it before. If you didn't have Romo, you didn't have Dak, this team would have been in the Commanders, Browns, yeah. Lions of, of last 20 years tier. Like, it had been rough. Because I went through that when you didn't have those quarterbacks. You're picking top five like you were the year you... You got Zeke and Dak, Leroy Pearson Jr. Patron. Way to go, Patrick! I know it's the it's, it's the a, it's, nicer it's, it's liquor we choice. have here. Yeah, there you I go. like it, and it's also the best bottle. By it, far. it is the best bottle we have here. So thank you, Leroy Pearson. Uh, we've got Sam mock draft soon. I keep having to do new ones every time they get a new player. Yeah, we will do a mock draft soon. Uh, maybe as soon as this weekend, or maybe maybe we save it for Monday's live show. Who knows what other news happens for your Dallas Cowboys? I would say Ronald Jones, Chuma Adoga, shouldn't Im- impact your mock drafts. If there was a player you wanted to take in mean, round one to four, whatever, you can still take that guy. Who's your pick right now? Who's your guess? Three, two, one, go. Dalton Kincaid. Cheers. Dalton Kincaid, okay. I'm just calling it I Darnell would say, Washington. I would, be, I would love if Darnell Washington became a Cowboy. Jerry, Jerry would take, out of all those tight ends, I think he would take Darnell. I would love Darnell. Now, look, they, let's be honest, they like white boys at tight end. Yeah. It's the reality. But I, I would be a huge fan of Darnell Washington as a Cowboy. I yeah. think that would be I, – I get the, the, the draft value of tight ends in round one. I get it. I, I totally understand that. But I, I would have to wait and see. If you have a tight end for the next 10 years, I mean, so that's it. So, a uh, great way to describe Darnell Washington. Some tight ends are heavy receivers. Mm. Like, they're bigger, but they're not that good of blockers, right? Yeah. Darnell Washington is a skinny offensive lineman. Yeah. Like, who moves off the charts. So, I, I would be on board with Darnell there. Cheers to you, Sam. Spe- uh, from Luis D. Garza. I think if Isaac Arcone move uh, 6'7", 320, y- yikes. I think he's going to trim down a little bit. Might be more like 6'7", you know, 3'10", 3'05". Um, I think practice squad is the goal there. I, I know he's got the size. Uh, he flashed a little bit to an extent playing some defensive line last year. Um, the expectations have always got to be kept in range for, for him. It's an inter- international player pathway program. It's a big learning curve making the jump from, I would say, low high school level football, basically. To, to the NFL. Uh, Cowboys have been patient, giving them chances. We'll see what happens in camp and in the preseason. Andrew Espelita. Ooh. If Bijan and Kincaid are on the board, who you got? Or do you think we would go with a D-line or O-line? D- I don't have question. a great feel. I think the most linked name has been Dalton Kincaid. And in years past, we would know the Cowboys pick pretty early. Uh, you know, Outside of Tyler Smith to an extent, but like, I, there was the, the Leighton Van Der Esch pick was kind of like the popular name in like January. Uh, now, since Mike McCarthy came on board, they've been much better about not leaking things. But I, I do know they're in the market for tight end, so I wouldn't rule out that spot via Kincaid. If Bijan gets them at 26, I, I think I've said this before to, you, before to you, Patrick, I think he's the pick. Yeah. I don't think he gets there. Which, yeah. you know what, takes the problem out of my hands. Now, now I, don't have, I don't have to make that decision. Or my team doesn't have to make that decision, which, which you know, makes me feel a little bit better uh, from that standpoint. Just what about uh, better this benefits? Comment. Jake Ferguson is Dalton Kincaid. I think he's a better athlete than Kincaid Jake is? Ferguson is. Yeah, yeah I, I think I think Kincaid's a better athlete. Now he's got a back issue, by the way, which does Ooh. need to be cleared. Uh, minor injury there, but they they got to get that sorted out there. Twenty dollars and a great question. I saw this when it came in. Tom, I actually would love to hear your thoughts on this. Read it off for me while I pour this shot glass. So it's, do you think the NFL might adopt the NBA model in the future if teams want to go over the salary cap but making them pay luxury tax going over the cap? Will owners be in favor of it since they make so much money? I don't know if it was Dwayne who had asked this, but somebody else on a recent show had asked this question. Maybe it was on an NFL video. That's my, my what it was. Um, I don't think that happened. I think there are some good arguments for it. Mm-hmm. You know who would be very much against it? 
You think Jerry would be against Jerry it? would be against it. Because really? Jerry was very much a proponent of the salary cap because he wanted to avoid situ- he want Jerry does believe in parity. He, he is, despite his misgivings and his issues, all the things that have been said negatively about him, the one thing he's always done a good job of is helping the NFL as a whole. Yeah. He, that's why he's starting the Hall of Fame. They, they have done a very good job of that, of, of Jerry doing what's right for the league and not what's right for him. If Now, maybe Steven could feel differently down the road. I, I doubt it, given his, his uh, salary cap leanings. But I think you have to get like it's a 60, like 24 or 32 owners to vote for it. You would have too many no's. Yeah. Your smaller just... market owners, the Bengals, the, the, the Raiders, the Bills, et cetera, they would be against that. Yeah. They, because that would hurt their, their, their competitiveness. And the NFL in general, the NFL is built to be, well, at least it was, a, a 50 or a 500 league. Mm-hmm. That's what it was built to be. You don't see that in, in the NBA. No. You very much have haves and, and have nots. We've seen it time and time again. Yep. I know the, the, there's theories of like, what if the luxury tax was limited to players who re-signed, help those who draft better. I yep. get where you're coming from. It's, n- it's not a bad idea. I think the NFL as a whole, though, is very happy with their salary caps uh, set up. Yeah. And it also helps keep player salaries down, which is also a, a big deal. Uh, for the Cowboys. Because, like, I mean, the Broncos' ownership now, mm-hmm. if you give them the luxury tax, mm-hmm. they're just going to sit in it probably every single year. Like, I, do you think yes. some owners would just be like... Some owners would never pay it. Yeah, they'd just be but like, like, we're you, not But doing you would have some that. of your, your richer owners just come through and buy them all up. Yeah, just go all in, all in. They on would be year. aggressive there. So, there you go. Thank you, Dwayne Jackson. It's a great question, though. Carlos Perez, $2. Thank you, Carlos. Appreciate that. Pedro Zucario, two dollars. Love the Rojo signing. Favorite running back from his draft. Let me pull up. I, I he was twenty eighteen, right? I think he was. Maybe it was. Maybe he was after twenty eighteen. What year was he? Uh, I think he was twenty eighteen. I was. I was twenty two. I was very high on Ronald Jones. I had him top forty on my board. Really? Which he? I think he went thirty eighth overall, and that's where I what's where I had him. Who were the other backs in the uh, Saquon? Darius Geis, before we knew all the some of the off-the-field stuff. Uh, Darius Geis. Sonny Michelle, Nick Chubb, who came back in a lot better than what I was kind of worried he was going to. Like, I had Jones, 38, Michelle, 39, Chubb, 43. Harion Johnson was 47. He was great for his knees fell apart. Yeah. He was good. Uh, and then Rashad Penny, that's why I hated that pick. He was 58th for me. Royce Freeman was 85. Um that was the Bo Scarborough draft. Remember, people thought he was going to be Oh, good. yeah. That was a fun time. Ryan Nall in that draft. Everyone missed on Gus Edwards. Uh, Naheem Hines is a fourth rounder for me. There's some good names kind in that a, draft. Looking like deeper, deeper guys here. It's kind of a top-heavy draft when it was all said and done. Philip Lindsay. Oh, oh I, I, yeah. I had a draft. Well, great on Philip Lindsay. Look at me. Uh, win. Uh, awesome. Jordan legend. Chung, Cowboys legend. Mike Boone. Mike who, Boone, too. Who, yeah, there you go. That's fun. Trenton Cannon's bounced around the league for a while, so it was a pretty good draft class. Uh, injuries kind of phased out some guys quickly, and R- he was RB3 for me. Thought he'd, thought he'd be better, but he, he has the boost, the, the, the juice. He added some more speed again. Sub 4-4 four, four guy. Tristan yep. Lewis, $5. Cheers. There's already a bring back Bo, Bo Scarborough. Bo Scarborough. He, he had so much hype. People out. drafted him. He was like, he's the new Cowboys RB2. I'm like, ah, you gotta calm down there. And now. Well, uh, most likely going to draft BPA. Which position or player would you most prefer in the first? Sanders, JSN, Torrance, Banks. Of that grouping, I'd rank them, um, you know, Torrance slash JSN. I'm higher on Torrance. Banks, Sanders. Uh, I think I might have Torrance a bit higher on my board itself, but like, you know, positional value, guard versus receiver, there's a difference there. Uh, then Banks and Sanders. I don't mind going corner, but like, yeah. I'm still hoping there's a shocking fall to you at 26. Like, yeah. I don't know. Joey Porter Jr. gets to you. Yeah. Take him. Just take him. And then say, thanks, Gilmore, for a year. Bye. And you'll know, cut Jordan Lewis or trade Jordan Lewis at that point. Like, or see if anyone will give you a, 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 a used sandwich for Kelvin Joe's at that point. So, do you uh, think uh, BPA? Do you think Dan Quinn could fall in love with a guy like Drew Sanders? I think Dan Quinn, as we sit here, is at the Iowa Pro Day, or Iowa State Pro Day, working out with okay. Will McDonald. Oh, okay. Um, he went to Iowa and Iowa State, so I think there is some interest in Dan Quinn getting another pass rusher. Mm-hmm. I think Dan Quinn will get a pick at some point first two rounds. Okay. Or first three rounds. Like, he, he gets that pretty much every year. Sam Williams, Kelvin Joseph. He's going to find a guy he loves, and he's yeah. going get, to get to take him. 
I don't know who it is, but I think the, they, they will give Dan Quinn a, a pick uh, at some point in the first three rounds. Ecuador man AOG. Might be a corner still. Uh, Washington or Torrance, if both available. I think Dallas oh. might go Torrance or, or might go Washington. I think I'd go... I would go Osiris, but like they're we're, no, talk, you we're, we're talking like three spot different on my, on my big board. You would not go Torrance over Darnell. Washington. I like him a lot. I'm higher on Torrance than most people. I think I'm also higher on Washington than most people. All right. I think both those guys will be better value than where they would be taken on, on my board. Yeah. I mean, you do love those. Those are your two guys. I, I mean, we've been on Washington since October. I'm like, yeah. Patrick, look at this guy. I know. Oh, I showed you a photo. I'm like, he's 6'7", 270. Yeah. <laughs> he's just absurd. Uh, so I'm, I'm in on him. Chris B., Tom, I think the, the next move is defensive tackle. You know, maybe it is like signing a, a Trayvon Howard or a Travian Howard at linebacker since he came in for a visit. Uh, I keep my eye on Hankins. I, I still think that gets done. Um, but I think DT is, is the next up, is the next move here uh, from, that, from, from, from that standpoint. Carlos Perez, $5. Cheers to you, Carlos. Shout out to Carlos. How confident are we that Tony Pollard comes back and plays the same? Uh, was Jones with the move or still a chance Cowboys draft the back? I feel confident about Pollard. You know, it, it's a tightrope ankle procedure and a leg fracture that will heal on its own. Yeah. I don't think that's that bad of an injury. I know it looked bad. But I think there have been worse leg injuries for running backs they've come back from. I would be more worried if it was an ACL, frankly. Is this his first major? First major injury. You uh, should be fine. I'm not that worried about it. I, I still think they draft running back, though. I don't think you've ever wanted to give Pollard every single carry. And that's not how NFL teams operate. Like, if you're getting 70% of a team's snaps, you're probably among the league leaders at, at, in, in the backfield. So you're still looking for a 40% player or even more. I do think they. I think there is a very good chance they draft a running back this year. Blood Slinger. What kind of back is Rojo? Speed or power? He is speed. His game at USC, even in the NFL to an extent, all about the big play. He, he balked up early in his career. I think that hurt him. I think yeah. that was a mistake on his part. He's a little bit lighter. That's okay. Uh, combine measurements, he was 5'11", 205, 4, 3, 9, 40 yard dash. He is... Because him in Tampa, he was bigger than that, right? Like, he, he bulked up a little bit too much. Yeah. Uh, I had some, sh- some shady in him. Uh, he had some, some college notes I have on, on Ronald Jones here. One touchdown in 19 of his last 28 games at, at USC. Uh, not a great pass blocker. Oh, my, my note was if, uh, I, I didn't know if, if he could hold up as an every down back. And if he doesn't, he becomes Felix Jones. Oh my God. <laughs> that, 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 that was my pre-draft note. I don't, don't even remember. Um, he, he ran a force. You might go to the combine numbers. It goes, he ran a four, six, five. He did pulled his hamstring. Oh, so, on the 40? On the 40. Oh, so, geez. so that was a deceptive, uh, a yeah. deceptive 40-yard dash time that you got out of uh, out of Ronald Jones. Maybe I can get the exact, like, RAS and stuff there. So that's the update for you there on Ronald Jones. Grayson Smith, how do you, would you feel if Nolan Smith is the pick at 28? I mean, I wouldn't be mad at it. Yeah. I, I think that'd be a pretty, uh, a pretty intriguing option. Um, I don't think Ronald Jones ran his pro day, did he? Let me pull that up here. Uh, four three eight. Sorry, I misspoke. Four, four, four three. Four, sorry, sorry, sorry. Four, four four eight. I misspoke. Four four, four, eight. four eight. Um, I think he had some four threes uh, before his hamstring uh, strain from some of the background info. I always get each year. Uh, four four eight. My bad. I misspoke earlier. Four four eight was the official time. He had wanted to run sub sub four four. My bad. Misspoke there. Excuse me. Uh, as for Nolan Smith, yeah, I'd be down. I don't think he gets to you. No, I. Eh, I can. I don't, I don't one of these guys. Either has to drop, right? Like, one of these top defenders, I feel like one of them may drop. Maybe. I don't know if he'll get all the way to 26. Maybe I mean, I can, I can see him get, getting to 20, but I don't. I think there are too many teams that are like, yeah, we'll take the edge rusher. That. That's that's fine. Yeah. Uh, Chris B., that Cooks deal keeps getting better. Took a pay cut. He did take a pay cut. That That is that is confirmed. Uh, Brandon Cooks, uh, I, I got the numbers here. There was, so Cooks is, the new deal for Cooks is... Let me scroll down where I have the notes on it. Dun, dun, dun. There we go. Two years, $20 million, $12 million guaranteed. He was already due $12 million guaranteed. They took eight of his four of his $12 million guaranteed base. I made it a signing bonus. 
added two void years. His base salary next year goes to eight million. He was due sixteen in twenty twenty four. Wow. Now he's going to get about um, about ten on the salary cap, but he was he took a pay cut. I guess he really wanted out of of Houston. There, that's that's what that tells me. Yeah. Formerly Jeremy Chugs' burner. Look at that one. Uh, I've seen Quinton Johnston slide in mocks. Why? The guys who have been sliding in mocks were the guys who didn't run at the combine. Funny Miles enough, Murphy, yeah. Quinton Johnston. Funnily how they're sliding. Um, I think Johnston's a weird prospect. The more you dig into the, 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 the less I have, I have a feel for him. Like he's built like this physical X receiver who like can win contested catches, great off the line of scrimmage. Like that's how he's built to be that physical downfield threat. He is a downfield threat. He's a big, big play guy. But he plays a lot more finesse until the ball's in his hands. Once he yep. makes the catch, he gets some drop pitches this year, too, as all these receivers seem to do. Uh, once the ball's in his hand, he is very fun at, after the catch. Uh, but he tends to be a little bit more less physical than I think he should be. I think he'll add five, seven pounds of mass in the NFL, and he'll be okay. Yeah. Uh, so I'm still in on Johnston, but I, it, it's the, the, the slides are... Uh, Back end of round one, I, st- I still think is reasonable because it was always like one guy goes top 15, everyone else goes in the 20s. So you just yeah. flip that, and that's how he slides. Dwayne Jackson, $5. Cheers to you, my friend. What are your thoughts on Ivan Pace Jr., third or fourth round? He falls to us. Ooh. I like his game. Uh, I liked his game getting back to my, my own mater, Miami of Ohio. Um, it's a question of is he – Big enough for their size. Like, that's, that is an uncertainty Since uh, guy. from that standpoint. So, I, I like Ivan Pace. He is tiny. Um, Cowboys might want a better run stopper at that spot. But I, I would be on board, you know, late third and fourth round. Ecuador man, AOG. Funny, I thought Scarborough was D. Henry. How dumb. Me too, man. Everyone misses. At that, that's how it works. But, yeah, uh, he, he, he did not have the same juice. Dwayne Jackson is a make-or-break year for Jabril Cox. Yeah, I think it is. Um, Entering year three, either can make a bigger impact here, have success, or, you know, he's not going to. And then maybe he's on the way out. Maybe it's after this year he's on the way out. But it it, it is a critical year there for Jabril Cox. Pug Racer, only position group that feels questionable is tight end. I'd put defensive tackle in there. Um, but Is that top two, and then probably a gap. You think probably a slight gap to O line still because O-line. no one trusts Tyron Smith. Like that's just that's where we're at. Matt M, John Michael Schmitz, or Jarrett Patterson. Uh, JMS for me. I think he's a top fifty-ish player. I think Patterson's more of a day three guy. Uh, need a better line for going to run more this year. Yeah, you do. It's not just Zeke. It wasn't only Zeke's fault that his numbers went down. The O line, especially down the stretch again this year. Wasn't as productive. Ten dollars from Captain Thunder. Why is Dak so greedy? Put himself on the team, and he's so mediocre and average. Why would he be so selfish? Can we get rid of him? Amazing, Captain Thunder. Every word of what you just said was wrong. <laughs> I mean, it just—it's just not accurate. It would. It is very weird to see the Walter Payton Man of the Year yeah. be described as selfish. Uh, it's just—it's just not true. The quarterback market is what the quarterback market is. If you wanted to pay Dak less, you should have gotten him out or the deal done sooner. He's no longer a top top five highest paid quarterback. That's how the market works. If we're describing him as mediocre, it's just not... It's just not accurate. Now, I suspect for a little bit here that Captain Thunder's trolling and having some fun. I think a little. That's my suspicion, but I also know this is a real take from people, so, you know. Yeah. Okay, I suspect you're trolling, and that is kind of funny there. And no, they're not going to get rid of him because who are you, who, who, who are you going to get? Yeah. Like, Grass isn't always greener, man. Have fun. That's I mean, just how it is there. So, All right, Ty Douglas. Just a dollar super chat. Thank you, Ty. I appreciate that. Are we all caught up on the supers now? Yeah. All right, we're going to do the uh, the cut then. Uh, one more time here, a reminder, and I'm going to go to sub only chat too. Good time for it. Help, uh, help keep some of the, 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 the chaos out of there. Bots and whatnot. $5 for beer cheers, 20 for shots, 25. Producer Patrick will spin the wheel so far. No wheel spins at this point. $50, plate slap, $100, your name. 
goes on the Cowboys beer hat of honor. Added some more names. Got to add some more from Sunday show. That was that got out of hand for me. I'm not going to lie there. And then we'll we'll do a beer bong as well for the hundred dollar super chat and have some real fun here. We're going to break down in depth the Ronald Jones signing. Then, as long as the supers stay coming in. We'll stay live here on the Dallas Cowboys report. So we're going to break down the Ronald Jones signing in depth here, what it means for the Cowboys. We'll even touch on Bijan Robinson as well. All that coming up here on the live Cowboys report, breaking down the Ronald Jones signing. Breaking news once again on the Cowboys report. The second signing of the day and the second outside free agent pickup is Ronald Jones, the former Chief and Buccaneer running back, taking his talents to Dallas on what we know so far is a one-year deal. And the Yacht Boys are actually making moves. They've signed two outside free agents in more classic Cowboys move. Ronald Jones, Chuma Adoga earlier today. They made the big-time trades for... Uh, Stephon Gilmore, Brandon Cooks. So if you like the Cowboys wheeling and dealing and making moves and having their most aggressive offseason in a decade, then like the video right now. I suspect that every single person is going to like the video outside of the uh, Eagles and Giants fans who watch the show because they're closet Cowboys fans. More on the, or I guess say the news of the day. That's Ronald Jones. One-year deal. Other contract details are not known. My suspicion here, and we'll see what the numbers say. We'll probably know in about 24-ish hours here. My suspicions are that this deal will not be a roster lock contract, much like they've done in the past. Players like a ha-ha Clinton Dix did not make the team. Even Dante Fowler last year wasn't assured a roster spot. I think they'll do the same thing with Chuma Adoga. One-year deal. Limited, if any, guaranteed money, maybe 50% of what will probably be a one-year 1.2, 1.3, maybe some extra incentives, maybe a little bit more money uh, contracts, and put him in a position to fight for a roster spot this season. Because the former second-round pick is not what he once was at his best. I liked him, like I know many of you did, at USC, that this would be an awesome football player uh, the second year at the Bucks, I'm like almost a thousand yards 5.1 yards for, for, per carry here comes the breakout I had a second round grade at him and a lot of people did too he's a very popular product from USC in that draft class never quite worked out one very good year one okay year two years he wasn't making the type of impact you would expect there barely played at all last year for the Chiefs after his first couple years with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers a 2020 year, I'm like, there we go. Didn't and barely, by the way, barely played at all in 2018, his first year, I, I should say. Year three was in 2020. Never quite panned out the way we were all hoping he was going to be. Maybe in Dallas, he can have a career resurgence slash career saving. That's where we're at at this stage with Ronald Jones. So grade the signing. A, B, C, D, or F. Sound off for me in the comment section, the pinned comment of today's video. So if an ad break comes here on YouTube, head down there, go grade the Ronald Jones signing. For me, the signing is a B. And that assumes it's a low, limited, guaranteed money because there's never been a bad one-year deal with little to no guaranteed money that's low risk, something resembling high reward. And just like Chuma Adoga earlier today, as we called it on our Monday show, these are Trojan signings. They're protection signings. I think we all know what I'm alluding to there. These are deals that do not really impact your draft plans. If you still want to take it back in the top 75, top 50, top 100, top whatever, you can still do that. You don't have to make sure you leave the draft, though, with the running back. It just sets you up truly to go BPA as much as humanly possible. That's what Ronald Jones is. He's a depth piece. I harbor no long-term expectations of he's going to be a 600-yard rusher. I'm unconvinced he makes your roster. But for the likely money here, having him as on, the, on camp in case of injuries, adding some more speed to your roster, former big play guy at both Tampa and at USC, or in Tampa, I should say, that begins to make sense for me. So as it sits right now, 
four running backs under contract. Tony Pollard, who I was on the franchise tag. Ronald Jones on a one-year deal. Rico Dowdle, more on him at the end of today's show, back on a one-year deal from this morning. Malik Davis, the former UDFA, under team control for two more years. So that's where we're at uh, from the standpoint uh, of the running backs. Pollard, Jones, Davis, Dowdle. I do feel pretty darn confident that you will see a running back taken by this Cowboys team in the 2023 NFL Draft. We promised you guys a second video today. You kind of got, in a way, two of them because uh, we went live for this, filming this live right now, and we still put this out on demand in case, you know, you have a job or something you can't watch live. We get it. When you subscribe and your notifications are set to all, you won't miss anything here on the Cowboys Report. YouTube.com slash at Cowboys TV. Free videos every single day right here on the Cowboys Report. After Chuma Adoga this morning, Ronald Jones joins the Dallas Cowboys. And in an ideal world, he makes the roster. He, he a draft pick, Tony Pollard, and probably one of Malik Davis, Rico Dowdle, either practice squad, RB4, whatever. And Ronald Jones looks more like the 2020 version of Rojo, where he was almost a 1,000-yard receiver. I don't think you're going to get that player. I think you might get more like, you know, 2021, 2019, not that different of, of a player, right? Fewer touches, fewer scores, fewer yards, but the average was the same. Now, 4.2 is better than what the guy you just cut averaged the past couple of years. But, you know, he's not the same pass protector that he is. And he clearly didn't play that much in Kansas City. So the expectations here are and should be low. What's your one-word reaction to signing Ronald Jones? Sound off for me in the comment section. One word and one word only. Let me know right now. My word, again, depth. That's what Rojo is. He's not going to be a high-end impact player, I would think. But he does give you preseason, training camp, injury depth. This is a classic Cowboys signing. It's not an earth-shattering move. But if you need to, you might have a piece you can, you can give some carries to throughout the season. We did promise Rico Dowdle conversation. He re-signed earlier this morning with the Dallas Cowboys, I, I assume, again, this is a one-year deal. Rico Dowdle was an RFA. He was not tendered by the Cowboys because the RFA tender approaches $2-plus million. The deal I bet he got was like the one-year vet minimum. Fight for a rush, but I'll give you a little bit of signing bonus money to, you know, thank you for signing type of deal. Dowdle will once again fight for a back end of the roster spot along with Malik Davis and along with the newly signed Ronald Jones. As for those of you wondering about B. John Robinson, about drafting a running back here, the Cowboys, I think, pretty clear and obvious plan is to set themselves up with, we're going BPA. You, you, you don't need a backup quarterback anymore. Your running back spot is probably fine. I still think you draft somebody. Receiver is not an obvious need here at this stage. Tight end, you could survive, but much like running back, it's a great class. I bet you draft one. Offensive line, I still kind of want to draft somebody because I don't trust Tyron Smith, but you don't have to, have to, have to now because you've got, in theory, nine or more offensive linemen you can put on your roster. Defensive tackle, still an area of concern. Defensive end is fine. I think we're forgetting about Damone Clark. That's fine with between Van Der Esch, Clark, Jabril Cox, Devin Harper, etc. There you go. Cornerback set, safety is set. You can pretty much go BPA now if you want to in the draft. The Cowboys had three visits, free agency-wise, on Monday. Ronald Jones, Chuma Adoga have both now signed. Traven Howard, the former Rams linebacker, uh, overlap with Bones Fossil, special teams-wise, he is unsigned as of this point. Maybe he'll sign, maybe he won't, but the Cowboys making some pretty obvious moves here of their free agency visits. Rojo Chuma Adoga, the latest members of the Dallas Cowboys in the first two outside free agent pickups so far. Of the two signings, which one is better? RJ for Ronald Jones or CE for Chuma Adoga? Those are the two pickups made at this stage. 
So go ahead, sound off for me in the comment section. What move did you think was a better move for the Dallas Cowboys? RJ, CE, get those votes in for me in the comments section. All right, some shout-outs here. Uh, a lot of CEs in there. I'd be inc inclined to agree. Um, I think that the backup offensive lineman piece, I'm going to turn the, the fan on here in a second, too, so I'm going to disappear from the screen. Uh, I, think that, I think that's the better one. Who knows if they make the roster? They may or or may not, but we'll we'll wait and see uh, on that front there. Uh, Spares can handle the cut, by the way. Uh, so just tell him, change the L3 as, help, as helpful sign, because... Get those votes in. RJCE. I got to turn the fan on here. There we go. That's better. Sometimes gets a little bit hot in the office. RJCE. That's Ronald Jones, Chuma Adoga. Get those votes in. We're at about 50% like rate still. Love to see that. Someone said Tyler Perry declared for the draft. There you go. RJ, a couple of RJs, but I think CE has that mostly. All right, super chat time. We'll show the menu. As long as the supers stay coming in, we will stay live. Once the supers start, we're, we're going to end here. Oh, Dante Fowler re-signing with the Dallas Cowboys. Let's go. All right, uh, why don't you just get the uh, yeah, oh. gr grab just, just the bio. Uh, list four stats is made. And update the, the depth chart. And then tell Sperry to splice it in t t to the back end. Dante Fowler is back with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, let me change the headline here. Dante Fowler's back. Just fixing the headline here. Dante Fowler re-signing a one-year deal with the Dallas Cowboys. That's uh, uh, broken by Calvin Watkins. How about that one for Calvin? Good good scoop for him. Dante Fowler heading back to the Cowboys. We'll have to get to the, this immediately here. Um, but we'll need to change the thumbnail and headline and everything. So Dante Fowler is back. I'll, 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 I'll get a quick L3 here too while you do that. Uh, so not only does Ronald Jones sign, Dante Fowler heads in and joins the Dallas Cowboys. What a time to be alive. Cowboys stay busy. They stay making moves here. Yeah, Jerry, Jerry's cooking. The, the Yacht Boys are cooking. All right, uh, I just put the L3 in there if you want to throw that in. So Dante Fowler. Resigning one year deal with the Dallas Cowboys per Calvin Watkins. Um, and also broken by uh, Jordan Schultz as well. Let me give Calvin the love on the retweets and see he did he did put it in there first. There you go. Another another one. There you go. So Dante Fowler re-signing with the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, busy, busy moves today for uh, the organization. So we'll see what – I'm curious what the money looks like here for Fowler. Um, I'm sure we'll get that soon. It, it, it is a one-year deal. Um, I'm, I'm going to put the over-unders at $3 million. Over-under on $3 million. $3 million. I believe, it, I believe it was three. Let me double check that. Because it was reported as like six, and it didn't get close to six. It ended up being three. Um, I don't know. He kind of tailed off down, down the stretch. Um, I, I am very curious if, if, if when we get those actual contract details. But a one-year deal for Dante Fowler. Uh, there might be a bio that has the numbers somewhere in master, by the way. Someone said eight million. I, I I would be upset by that. Um, still waiting on the Dante Fowler numbers, but he is back as a member of the organization. So I'm gonna change the pin poll here. Grade the re-signing. 
of Dante Fowler. New pinned pole coming in here. Someone said one year, one dollar deal. <laughs> That'd be pretty funny. That'd be funny. Yeah, just give them give, give a fraction of a, of a fraction percent ownership. There you go. New pin poll, grade the re-signing of Dante Fowler. One-year deal, all we know at this point. Should just be to delete the free agent asterisk there. Yeah, uh, again, waiting on the... In general, I have noticed when the, the numbers isn't isn't announced, it normally means it's team-friendly. Not always the case, but because the agent is the one who, who pushes it out there. The agent's the one who, who leaks it, right? Because he's trying to build goodwill with the reporters and everything there. So we will see what the money is. I'll put the over-under at $3 bucks. Uh, that does put you in pretty good shape along your defensive line. Micah, Tank, Dorrance, Sam Williams, Dante Fowler, Chauncey Golston. I know, uh, I know um, our boy um, Dan Quinn's been working out some Iowa State edges, but, you know, we'll see if that ends up happening there. But as we sit here, still no details. Once you're ready, we can do that part to add to the cut here. And then we'll hit up all the Super Chats. We will stay live as long as the Supers are coming in. $5 beer cheers, $20 shots, 25 wheel spin, 50 plate slap, and $100, your name, on the Cowboys Beer Hat of Honor. Stick around. We're going to break down the Dante Fowler signing in depth. Not so fast. As we had wrapped up the Ronald Jones news of our live show, Dante Fowler re-signs with the Dallas Cowboys. We do not have, as of filming, the actual nitty-gritty contract details. We do know it is a reported one-year deal for Dante Fowler, broken by Calvin Watkins, Dallas Morning News. Uh, one-year deal. I'll set the over under at about $3 million bucks. what he made uh, last year. There had been reports on day one of free agency, the Cowboys working hard to bring him back. I think they were working, but I think working hard may have been a bit of a, a deceptive. I don't think he was the, uh, I think he was the same uh, type of uh, priority for this organization. But he is back on a one-year deal. This is where your defensive end depth chart currently sits: Micah Parsons, Tank Lawrence, Dorrance Armstrong, Sam Williams, Chauncey Golson. I think he's going to play a lot more defensive tackle, three technique, some five technique as the DE uh, this year. Dante Fowler, meanwhile, also back. So you do not have to draft a defensive lineman unless you uh, you feel the need to uh, from that standpoint. If there's a guy you love, you can still take him because it's only a one-year deal for Fowler. Dorrance Armstrong's last year of his deal. You know, Sam Williams is still a young rookie. Mike, of course, is a core piece for you. Dante Fowler did outplay his contract last year. Finished the year with six sacks as mainly a pass rush specialist. Clearly, Dan Quinn likes him. The edge depth remains impactful, impressive once again. But he did tail off down the stretch. He wasn't as impactful as he was as the season went along. But six sacks there for Dante Fowler. He sticks around as a member of the Dallas Cowboys organization very curious what ends up happening with the exact money. I'm sure we will know that in the not-too-distant future. But Dante Fowler entering his second year now as a member of the Cowboys organization. He's back. I got to see the money because I, I don't want to overpay for my fifth edge. You still have great depth there. You could have drafted somebody if you wanted to. But Fowler returns, which I'm fine with. I certainly can't yell at the Cowboys for making moves. They've given the previous you know, decade of not doing anything. But are you happy that Dante Fowler is back? Money pending. Why for yes and for no, or yes slash no. Get those votes in in the comments section. All right. Oof. Good time to go live, I guess. You know what? That, 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 that worked out pretty well. Um, uh, let's see. I'm going to change our headline here. Uh, for our VOD portion. Okay. 
Uh, tell, tell Sperry the headlines updated just the copy and thumbnail now need, uh, need changing there. So thanks to Sperry for taking care of that one for us. I'd be mad if we get the numbers on uh, Dante. Just one year deal is all we have still. Okay. We might not know the, the real numbers like the rest of these guys until tomorrow, later today. A lot of B grades in there, but higher on the A's than it was for Ronald Jones. 25% say A, 46% say B, 16% say D, and 4% say, uh, say D or F. Edge is now taken care of from a pure, like, oh, you need help there. Um, but you are in good shape at running back and uh, defensive end of, like, Having to take somebody. I still think you draft a running back, though, in the end. Yes or no? Are you happy? Get those votes in. Dante Fowler is now, a, again, a member, I should say, of the Cowboys organization. Ronald Jones resigns. Uh, I think I do think your next move, they're going to try to bring back Jonathan Hankins. That is, that is my suspicion. Hankins will be the, the next standpoint there. Interior defensive line is really the only thing you're looking for on um, on this defense. You're set. I, maybe a linebacker, sure, but like you have Damone Clark entering year two, who was you know a top seventy grade that just fell because of medical. Seems healthy now. D line, that is your next focal point for this organization. All right, super chats time here. First up from Leroy Pearson Jr. I have to keep the Fowler L three up for me too. By the oh, way. Yeah. Who do you see getting targeted the most this year? Diggs or Gilmore? $5 is a beer. Cheers, by the way. Hmm. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with Diggs. Yeah, I was going to go Diggs, too. I just think that they'll, that they'll gamble on Diggs's. Like, I think that's what you want. You want the Diggs, the Diggs to have the targets? Yeah, like, no, you do. They got to throw at somebody. They, the correct answer is Jerome Bland. Jerome Bland. That's the, that's the correct answer. Because he's, he's the nickel. That's how it works. Um, but it's the number one. On opposing teams, you think a little more. Play him on the sides. I don't play I, the sides. I, I don't think you have to shadow now. Yeah, no, that's no, honestly. No, no, I think you just put him on field and, and, and boundary. There you go. From Adwin, five more dollars. Cheers. You think MC should incorporate the zone read triple option offense and get a chain paw together, relive, relieve stress from pass protection? <sighs> zone read, yes. Triple option, probably not. Uh, now, cool. if, if now if if, 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 if I, I assume maybe let, let me clarify, triple option. If you want to go shotgun triple option mm -hmm. and do the just the, the, the split slot look, you got a tight end out there, two receivers. You got Pollard and A Chain next to you, and you your quarterback reads the defensive end to, to either keep or pull, and then gets to the edge in that type of triple option. Sure, if you mean like the historical triple option. I'm, I'm, I'm going to pass on that one uh, of, like, under center wing stuff. Like, I'm oh, not the wing I'm, I'm, tee. The wing yeah, tee, yeah, I'm not yeah, doing yeah. that. But, like, no. the, the, the shotgun, uh, Brandon says the, the Tulane offense, sure. Uh, that's fine. That's kind of like some like. of the, the Liberty offensive style, too, uh, now with uh, – not with Gus Malzahn and, or Hugh Freeze, but with uh, the uh, the Coastal Carolina offense, what I meant there. I forget their head coach. But they ran a lot of, like, multiple back sets there. I'm fine with that. Uh, hand and, off uh, the power or kick out and, the or, a chain. Or, or, that quarterback would be keys, pitch the H chain. Like, yeah, and that play does exist. We've seen that before. Zone read, I'm also still on board with there. Leroy Pearson Jr., five more dollars. So there's, there's an article on Dante Fowler. Let me see if, let me see if the money's in there. I, I doubt there's going to be the money because that's normally something you tweet. Uh, yeah. Waiting. Uh, one year deal. No details on the money. Okay. Leroy Pearson Jr., five more dollars. Can we still sign DJ Shark or McCole Hardman to a one-year deal? Draft either AT, AT Perry or Tyler Scott, I think you mean. Um, I, you're not doing both of them because you've got Gallup, who's going to make your team. Lamb, Cooks, our roster locks. You know, Kevonta Durbin can be your special teams player unless he doesn't count as a receiver. So it's six maximum. Um, but at that point, you're looking at you still have Jalen Tolbert. You have yeah. Smith you know, you're you're not you're not gonna you're probably gonna keep Tolbert, I would bet, for at least one more year. So there's four receivers, and you want your other guys to play special teams. Turpin fills that role too. Um, you, you know, unless done? there's injuries, I don't think they sign anybody else. You think they but draft I, the guy? But I would not rule out a draft pick. I don't know if they love this wide receiver class, but 
I think they've, they've got situational where they could still take somebody if they find their guy. And I think Tyler Scott, A.T. A- a- Perry, two guys I like in like the third round. Leroy! Let's hope the next signing is Jonathan Hankins. Cheers. I'm, wait, I'm waiting for it, Leroy. I feel like that's just – we're just waiting he's, for the notification. He's, he's my fatty. Yeah. He, he, he is my fatty on this defensive line, the guy that many of you know I, I have – you know, campaign for the fatties for years now. Cowboys sometimes eventually listen to the things that I suggest. Sometimes they're right not to in the end. But it's a good move there for uh, for uh, for Hankins if you retain him on what I assume would be a pretty cheap one-year deal. I think you're talking two, three, four million dollars somewhere in that range. I don't think it'll be that much. So I saw this in the chat right now, Tom, from DJ Exclusive. Trade Gallup and a fourth or a fifth for D Hop. Do you think the Cardinals would want a guy like Gallup? No. Defeats their purpose. So? Uh, also, the problem you run into is you just restructured Gallup's contract. Yeah. So you can't quite can't quite make that happen. That's that's the standpoint there. Juan a Carlos. $40, Juan Carlos. Two shots for you. Let's Since go. Since work doesn't allow me to live my best <laughs> life. Mine does. Juan, you just got to put it in your there water bottle. There you go. So Patrick, Patrick, we'll do a free shot for you, too. I'll, I'll, I'll take two, so it's three. One. Shout out to Juan. Woo! Get me fired up. You love to see it. Jerry's making moves, guys. Two. This is Ooh. good. This is good. The Yacht Boys are cooking, baby. Juan yeah, Carlos, thank you, my friend. We appreciate that. Cheers to you. Rolo Tomasi, $5, time for coffee, Tom. I hate coffee. I was going to say, I've never I seen you drink coffee, coffee once. Cheers. I, 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 huh. I, do, you, do, you, do you drink coffee? I don't think yeah, I, I have literally my morning routine is black coffee and water. That's what I have every day before I come to work. I, I hate coffee. Really? I think it is. What's disgusting. like if you need caffeine, what's your go-to? The, the caffeine packets. Those are elite. Yeah. I love we, those. We got like little caffeine packets to put the water in. Like it keeps it yeah. me hydrated too. And it's it like tastes important. great. Yeah, it, it tastes, tastes like, like strawberry. Cool. It's great. Yeah. Uh, and it's like low calorie. It's perfect. Um, beyond that, I, if I need to, I can, I can have a soda or something. Yeah. Like, try to cut that out a you little bit. Ever get there. in the monster or uh, any of that? Tell you what, draft time. It's just Red Bull. Red Bulls. Yeah. Red, Red, Red Bull for the draft because I need it. Um, you haven't lived till you shotgun a Red Bull. That's all. That's all. I'm yes. <laughs> you, you haven't lived. Uh, cheers to you, Rolo. Justin Moreau. Which outside free agent would you sign next? Puna. Puna Ford. Why not sign Puna Ford and Hankins? Get the bellies. What's going to sign? Because I, th- I I, think this team's plan is going to be Chauncey Golston at, at defensive tackle. Yeah. So it's Osa, it's Golston, it's Ford and Hankins. I mean, there's no superstar, which I still would love to get if you could find one somehow, but Can't I'm in. Can't your superstar. It, hey, again, I, I have a lot more flexibility for your draft plans if you, if you if you do do that stuff, yeah. At that point, I'm like, sure, let's get wild. We can take uh, Adebayo if we want to. We can get nutty with. Oh, him. I like him too. Ecuador man AOG with signings. Anyway, we take Brazil in the first. He scares me. I know he scares me too. Like he he is an upside player. Traits are impressive. Fantastic athlete. Had the occasional good game, but was never productive, consistent, whatever. Uh, it's just that hasn't materialized. It could happen in the NFL. If you're, you're going to gamble on that guy, you need it to be a premier athlete. But I, he's not going to have a first-round grade for me. And I think there will be better guys on the board because there's a lot of downside of like, well, he's just not good. Yeah. He, he just never materialized. That that worries me. So cheers to Ecuador man AOG. Is that all the supers? We're caught is. up on him. All right. Two minutes on the clock. As long as the supers keep coming in, we will stay live. Otherwise, you know, we're, we're, we're going to sign off here. There's one. So we'll reset. There we go. From Adwin, another beer cheers. Then we'll, we'll answer a super. Put two more minutes on the clock for us to stay live here. Uh, Adwin, to clarify, triple op, just like San Francisco, the Ravens, keep the defense guessing. If not, H, what about Bigsby or Deuce Vaughn? Ooh. Love you all. Uh, that, okay, so that's eventually what I got to of what I thought you meant. Sure, that's fine. I think that's not a staple of your offense because Dak isn't the runner, the athlete that Lamar or Colin Kaepernick is. Still can move, don't get me wrong. I think they want to avoid the hits for him. He's taken plenty in the past, in his NFL career, like most quarterbacks do. Um, 
But you mentioned two other backs, Tank Bigsby, D- Deuce Vaughn. I like them. I like them both. Like A-Chain in the second, Bigsby in the third, Vaughn in the fifth is about where I have him graded. So, Tank hey. Bigsby is, out of all the running backs, he is guaranteed to hit the most just because of his name. Yeah, like, he is the best like, running back name I think I've ever heard. A-Chain is in the Pollard mold. Uh, Bigsby's in a little bit more of, of the Zeke mold there. Deuce Vaughn is, is, is the small back. but. That's gross. He's in the day. I like Deuce Vaughn a lot. Plus, his dad is a Cowboy Scout, so I think that would go over pretty well there. All right, Jeff C. Do we get a tight end and a running back in the draft, and who? I would bet at some point, because of the depth of the class, you take a tight end and you take a back. And it could be a, you know, tight end or back in round one. Other one goes in the third or fourth round, or maybe you go second, third round for both those spots. It is a very strong class. Um... They like Kincaid. I think there. I hope there is some interest in Darnell Washington. Like that's that's a very fun fo- football player. Um, there's a lot of good guys. This list goes ten plus deep on both positions. So you want to you want to wait till day two and not take a Kincaid or a Washington or a Bijan. It's is H chain there for you? Is 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 Charbonnet there for you? Is um, is a tight end is Sam Laporta there for you? Do you want to really wait and take a, a Zach Coons? Like there's there's a lot of options for you in this year's draft class that I think would set you up for success at both of those positions. So either one, I'm happy with on that front there. Also, Jeff C of five dollars. Oh, and cheers. You got it. Bottoms up. Shout out to you, Jeff. Trey Canary, would Mozzie Smith be worth a first round pick? Back end of the roster, or back end of round one, sure. Yeah. Um, you know, I don't think you have to go in a position of, you know, he's guaranteed best guy there. There is athletic upside. Finishing has been a, a problem from that standpoint. Uh, but back end of round one, sure, I'm on board with that one. Leroy Pearson Jr., is it a good idea to play Chauncey Golston at defensive tackle? Um, I have no problems with it. Now, it's probably not like an every-down DT role, right? It's probably... I think I moved over more to the to this this side, too, there. Oh, yeah, good call. Um, uh, I'm, I'm pulling the exact numbers, but he is big enough to play DT on some more pass-rushing downs. He's 6'5", was listed at 270. He can get to 280 pretty easily. Uh, his snaps by position this past year. Let me let me get the exact nitty gritty numbers here for you guys. Uh, defensive tackle seventy one and fifty. Uh, defensive end was uh, sorry so seventy one fifty two six. Uh, he played the majority of his snaps already at defensive tackle. Now it was mostly in pass rushing s- situations where. They're trying to add some, some some juice on that standpoint. But he was predominantly an interior defensive player. I mean, he had, most of his snaps came on pass rush spots. Um, so he's not going to be like a, a full-time, you know, impact, you know, run-stopping DT. But on those third downs and stuff, like as a situational backup three technique, in the kind of think Tyrone Crawford mold, that's what I think they're going for there. Cheers to you, Leroy. Jeff C., Cheers. Thank you. Uh, Ecuador man. Cadillac Williams is a better running back name. Ooh, Cadillac Williams. I think he's, ironically, both from Auburn. Really? Yeah. Was he in the league already? Cadillac Williams? Remember Cadillac Williams? I don't remember I know Cadillac. you're younger, dude. Carnell Williams? No. He's a top five pick. How do you did not know he, Cadillac Williams? Did he have a successful year in the... Uh, I mean, I wouldn't say he was a super successful player. You have to remember Cadillac Williams. No. I, you had to have played Madden the year he came out. What team was he on? The Bucks. Jeez. How do you not remember Cadillac Williams? This is embarrassing. He was the Auburn interim head coach this year. Yeah, uh, I'm seeing that now. Patrick, I, I got to be honest. I, I think I, I'm sorry. Ball going I, stock down. I know. This is bad. How, how old were you in 2005 again? I was five years old. Okay, I mean, you know, I guess that's that's a little bit more reasonable. Uh, yeah. Am I hearing that Patrick doesn't he doesn't know, know Cadillac oh Williams? God, no. <laughs> he doesn't know ball? He doesn't know Ecuador ball. Man. Ball, ball. Ball stock down. <laughs> ball, wow. ball knowing stock down. One. Cadillac I Williams. Cadillac well, now Williams I have a favorite awesome. name. <laughs> uh, I, th- I, I honestly, I think you have to take a shot for that. I think I have to. Yeah, no, you have to a shot for that. Uh, is he is he now going to be the head coach at Auburn? He, he, he was the interim head coach. He's like the associate assistant head coach now. 
I think like five, ten years, he's head, he's head coach somewhere. Uh, do you know Ball Pop Quiz? What's his actual name? Carnell. Thomas Ball. All right. I, 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 I even gave him the other name. Like, do you know Cadillac? Like, do you know Carnell Williams? No. Like, Carnell Williams? That's Cadillac a great Williams. name, though. Cadillac Patrick, Williams. Yeah, that's Patrick a great point. Certified, not ball nowhere. Yeah, that's that's that's, 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 that's bad. That's a big L. Yeah. Like I look, Cadillac <laughs> never had the NFL career I thought he was going to. He he was great his first year, and then just kind of tailed off after that. But it was Cadillac Williams and Ronnie Brown at Auburn. Do you, do you remember? Ronnie oh. Brown. This is this is this is before my time, guys. This, this so is this before was like, my time. This was like, this is before your time. They both went top ten. Okay. Wait, they, both running backs. Both, both running backs went top ten. Same year. Same year. Oh wow. And like Ronnie Brown was the running back in Miami who helped. Uh, actually, they both went top five. Uh, who was wow. the running back who helped popularize the the, the Wildcat offense? Oh, that he, was okay. He, he okay. was the back in the in, in the in the Wildcat offense. Yeah. Okay. There you go. Uh, well, Kevin you know. Lopez, two dollars. Who who you trade up for? Good question. Skaronsky, if he slides. Yeah. Uh, if if you trust Jalen Carter off the field, Jalen Carter, um, this team is going to have more needs down the road, so I don't mind waiting uh, on just taking BPA throughout the draft and still using all seven nor something along those lines of, of picks. Ray Cheney, I'm loving this by Jerry Steven. They're spending. Oh yeah. The yacht is cooking. I don't know what was in the water in the Bahamas slash the Caymans. It was the good stuff. Yeah. And, and the Jones boys have been cooking for the first time in a long time. D- Donnell, call Atlanta about Kyle Pitts. They traded for a tight end. Johnny Smith for a seventh. They like two, two tight end packages. I wouldn't read much in that. But, yes, call. There's yeah. no harm in calling. Uh, I think Atlanta thinks they're closer than maybe what they should be. Would he and still demand a first? Yes, he would. Yeah. I, I know his touchdowns were down and his quarterback sucked last year. But 1,000-yard rookie tight ends – don't exist. Yeah. Like, those guys are profoundly rare in the NFL. And talking 356 yards this year, I know, but 1,000 yards. Like, he has been – he is a – he is a very good football player. So, they would want the first. I'd love, I'd love to give them the two. Yeah. I doubt it, but there's no harm in calling there. Zach Taylor, who is your sleeper tight end in this draft? Um – the obvious name, if, if you could say so much of a thing as obvious, is, is Zach Kuntz, the, uh, the Kuntz. old, the, the, the I thought old you were Dominion. I thought you going to go uh, Laporta on that one. He should be a top 50 pick, so I, I can't call him a sleeper. Uh, beyond that, I want to make sure I, I have the, the names pronounced real here. Josh Wiley from Cincinnati. Okay. Good track record of Cincinnati, Cincinnati tight ends in the past. Just met heard of the guy, this guy named Kelsey turned out Damn. pretty well. Uh, I think Payne Durham is not a bad football player either. Yeah. And if you want to get to, like, a Luke Schoonmaker in the fourth round. Again, great tight end class this year. Thank you, Zach. Sean Ashworth is a dollar. Thanks, Sean. Appreciate that. And 20 again. Leroy. Leroy Pearson Jr. Tell me I get just Shout Crown Royale. I don't, I don't I mind love, Crown. I love Crown. Or Crown. Crown. I don't mind Crown Royale. That's, that's some good stuff. It's in the same overarching. Um, it's different, but it, it's dark. The green, it's, it's dark. That's what the I'm green thinking. apple is fantastic. There you go. Uh, it's Crown Royale, also, LOL. You Cheers. know you can't break those bottles? Doubt. Swear to God. I, you can throw it as hard as you can on the ground. It literally won't break. No chance. <laughs> I swear. True. I thought my friend no was getting chance. me with it. I, you can literally drop it on concrete. It will not break. No way. Swear. Sounds Test like, it out s- at home. S- sounds like a fun super chat idea one day. It is, yeah. Green Apple Crown. If, if I throw it's it at a wall, it's, it's not going to break? I swear to God. I'll, I'll, I'll double check this. We're going to go We're gonna go to the parking lot and just... Yeah, Tomahawk super it. chat idea. We'll, we'll try to break Crown Royale bottles. Ridiculous. Um, what are the plans for special teams with Noah Brown, Luke Gifford gone? We'll try the first round and qu- accumulate more picks. Uh, my boy Jeff Cavanaugh is captain trade down, but I love trade now. I have no complaints about that. It's depending on how the board falls for you. Um, it's a good question. They brought back such a good one. I think Devin Harper is going to be your uh, linebacker replacement there. As for Noah Brown... I don't know. Um, can Fajoko play teams? That would help him. I think one of your backup running backs, receivers, uh, maybe another DB ends up, or uh, uh, RBs like Dowdle and Davis and, and Fajoko and maybe Tolbert. Uh, that other wide receiver Noah Brown role is, is, is a question mark. And then he's kind of the personal protector. So maybe, you know what? 
Maybe you draft a fullback this year. Or yeah. sign one. A fullback? North Dakota State's got a guy, Hunter uh, Lupiki, Lupeki. I don't know how to pronounce it. I've not looked it up there, but they got a guy. Uh, I saw someone fullback. else was a freak athlete at, at, at fullback, too. I can see fullback being in there. Yeah. Maybe maybe Sean McEwen becomes your new special teams superstar. It's thought. It's a, good, it's a good question, though, Leroy. We'll know more after, after the UDFA stage. Jeff C., keeping it 100. Do you think prospects consider Dak or O-line the decision to sign with the boys? Keep it cooking on the water. Um, I made this comment t- t- to you. Um, a, money matters. Mm-hmm. They'll take an extra $5 million to play with, with, with a lesser player. That, that's how it works. Um, but, yes, they, they do consider the, the long-term benefits yeah. of everything there. Um, you know, I think they're in okay shape with the offensive line. I think you look at the Brandon Cooks deal. He, when he did not have to, willingly took less money. The, the, the first year is a restructure. He cut his pay in almost half next year to, to help himself out and be a Cowboy for another year. Like, we're talking about, you know, I think everyone would rather play with Mahomes, right? That's just like, that's just smart. Like, yeah. of course, right? You know, teams will play with Burrow, Josh Allen, so that's, that's all fair. But, like, if it's a, hmm, are we going to sign with Davis Mills or are we going to sign with, with Dak Prescott? Yeah. That's a no-brainer. And you it's know? also, you're playing for the Cowboys or playing for the Texans. Yeah. Now, the, the right. issue Dallas has run into is – they think all of that stuff means they should pay less. Oh, the when star sh- on the when, helmet. Well, when yeah. it should be, well, we should. that should be our tiebreaker. Yeah. It is the issue that they've run into there in the past. So, good question, Jeff. Cheers to you. Sam. Cheers. Shout Sam. Still concerned around about left guard. The interior line of this draft seemed thin. What can they, uh, will they realistically do? You know, Dalton Reiser's unsigned. He's, yeah, he's still unsigned. You're going to have, I'm going to say, th- you still have at least double-digit salary cap space, like $10 million or more, after the Dante Fowler deal becomes official. Maybe Hankins, too, if we get you down to, like, eight. So you can still sign a, uh, a defensive lineman if you want. Or probably not even eight. Probably more like still 10, frankly. Yeah. Um, you can still sign a left guard. I think draft is an, is an area, too. Um, I think they like Matt Farniak a little bit, but I don't, I'm, not, I'm not sold on that one there. I think what they want, ideally, is, a, is, a, is a, another left-side player. A backup left tackle or a backup left guard, I think, would be their their ideal option. And that could come in could come in the third round for you on the offensive line. Who knows? Sam. Oh, we got we got oh uh, we got that one. Are we are we caught up here? We oh, are. We are. All right. Two minutes on the clock. I'll give them three minutes. Three minutes? Okay, three minutes there, Patrick. Hit, hit the timer there. If the supers come, oh, Run it's counting away. upward. It didn't work. Sad. Hold on. All right, so just start, start, start it at, at zero then, and we'll just go upward. True, true, true. That, that's the fine. That's fine there. That's fine. I'll slap Tom for ten bucks. <laughs> uh, you're not in charge of this, Sam. It's fifty. Oh, look 50. at that. Super, there you go. Super, Two minutes. Super chat special. Slap Tom for ten dollars. Uh, no. Uh, Five dollars. Beer. Cheers. Twenty for shots. Twenty five. We haven't had a chance to spin the wheel yet. I know. Nobody's had a chance to spin the wheel. Fifty dollars. Sam really wants to slap me with, with the with the, pa- the paper plate. I do want to be clear. It's paper. Uh, it is paper. Like we're, not, we're, we're not taking shine and hit me in the face with it. Hundred dollars. Your name goes on the Cowboys beer hat of honor. A minute thirty left. We did miss this super yes, chat we did. Well, from we Roger Moore. Uh, we can keep the clock running here. Oh, well, Par just threw a two dollar one in. Uh, I keep pulling Tank Dell in the third. Are the Sims broken? I don't think so. Um, you know, I think that he's third, second round guy ish. He's tiny. Uh, that's a very valid concern. Uh, maybe the Braxton Miller draft range is in the early third is where he ends up going there. So, more supers coming in. So, shot clock pause. Object Pawar. Which FA tight end should be signed? Trick question, none of them. Irv Smith. Just draft somebody. Yeah, true. Just just draft a guy. Uh, you don't need an instant starter. You have Ferguson, Hendershot, even Sean McEwen. But there are some good tight ends in the draft. I, I would go that route there. Leroy Pearson Jr. Beer cheers. Would you take John Michael Schmitz in the draft? Um, Sure. 
Probably not in round one for me, although it wouldn't be a huge reach. It'd be a, a very minimal one. If the board falls right way, it's not even a reach. Um, there are that much of one. Round two, I have interest there. I think he could be your left guard for now, and then a center in the future. Maybe your Beatrice person who's going to be a free agent next year. So, yeah, if I, I think John Michael Schmidt's round two is a pretty ideal outcome. Does he get there? I don't know. Cheers, Leroy. Dallas, NDC. Uh, you think Jalen Carter could fall to 26 of a situation? B, B, Pierre, take him to 26. So, I don't think he falls. And as kind of backwards as this might sound, if he does fall, maybe you don't want him. Yeah. Because <laughs> that, that would mean 25 teams were like, eh. There has now, to. Who is the one guy you mentioned? Uh, Ruben Foster. Ruben Foster, who, yes. I think, was that 2018 draft too? I, I, it is. I have my notes up still. Um, no. 2019 draft? Because, I, because I, have, I have my rankings. I keep them all every year. Uh, 2017? Uh, now we're going the wrong way here. Uh, I don't know if I have those. Let me see what year Ruben Foster was. Uh, but anyway, like if he be 2016, if he slides, that like tells me that oh, you know what, NFL teams didn't like what they were seeing there. Yeah. And th and that and that should raise significant red flags. Um, at that stage, you're like, mm. I just don't. The thing is with Carter for me is but if he's it's talented. like, yeah, he's an unreal talent. Is this like? He has so much going on in his personal life right now that he just needed to take like I think, time back for two months. I, 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 I think he's in a, in a rough spot up here. And yeah. I can't blame him, blame him that much for that. Exactly. I mean, with everything he's kind of been through. Or is this just I – I see, I don't think it would be, though. I don't think it would be the other side of maybe him not caring yeah. or not being as like, invested. But. I, and I think good situation. I think Dallas fits that, that standpoint. Yeah. He'll, he'll still be a very good NFL player, if not a great one. But there are concerns there. Grayson Smith, $5. Clayton Toon or Dorian Thompson on day three? Ooh. DTR for me. Yeah. I, don't, I don't mind I like Clayton him. Toon. He's a little bit older. Um, although DTR has been a long time there. I think that from the quarterback position, if you are not mobile, you're not going to work. Mm -hmm. You need to have mobility, if only to survive at the beginning of, of your career until the – the higher level quarterback stuff that has made some of these guys so great, uh, whether it's you know a Burrow, uh, the, the elite guys of a Mahomes, whatever, like that, those types of players who are so great pre or post snap, there, um, you need that mobility. So Tune's not a bad athlete, but I'm, I think DTR is a really good one there, and especially in my backup quarterback, I want the mobility because that gives me some variance in a good way of running the football with my quarterback. On early downs, I think benefits you. Uh, this is not a unique take to me, although I felt it. I, I, I know others agree with me. I think the floor and ceiling mindset has kind of been flipped a little bit. The mobility, the rushing, gives you the floor now. Yeah. The ceiling is how advanced you can become in the challenging aspect of being a quarterback, of being able to read pre- yeah. and, and post-snap stuff. Now, there is still a baseline of, like, can you throw the damn football involved mm -hmm. there? Can you be accurate and whatnot there? But the mobility, I think, helps you in a major way these days. Jeff C., $20 a shot. Choose something Jeff. to drink about. Hey, there you go. Cheers to you, Jeff. I would dedicate this shot to Jerry Jones being on a heater. The Yacht Boys are cooking. Cheers. See, Jerry just wants to go BPA so bad. Which is a good thing. You should always want to go BPA. And I love it. You should always want to go BPA. Uh, okay, we're good. All right. And then... What's up, Chugs? What do you have there? Oh, I don't, I don't trust you. I was just coming to see you, how you are doing. How you all You spooked me a little bit. Jeremy just you came in. You want to say hi? You want to say hi? Yes. They, they, they haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Yeah. $25, Leroy Pearson Jr., the spin is for the next signing before the day is up. Hankins about to be a cowboy in 2023. I found Jeremy. Hey. How you doing, buddy? I'm doing pretty good. Feeling pretty good. The Yacht Boys have been doing things for once. I know, right? Shocking, right? Dude, y'all might make it to the uh, NFC Championship game this year. It'd be pretty fun. Yeah. It'd be pretty fun. Or, I mean, probably 
divisional round loss. But I mean, you yeah. never know. All right. You never know what's his with this team. Spin the wheel, Patrick. Imagine if it lands on a slap. Ooh. Imagine. Well, right, let me add that. Yeah, add add Jeremy's slap just real quick on here. Imagine. What's up, Chugs? All right, I do this all the time. Oh, wrong Why do you. I do that? I know, it's offensive. <laughs> okay. What's up, Coop? Got it right that time. How are people feeling about Catboy? Uh, Catboy slander is off the table. Oh, okay. No, right. no, Catboy slander is banned, at least for now. Really? You yeah. Need all this to finish third in your division behind the Giants. Giants aren't going <laughs> to win Jack, Marshall. Enjoy paying Daniel Jones franchise money. He's going to have like 15 touchdown passes again. There you go. All right, is it on there? Oh, we're ready. Spin the wheel. Imagine if it lands on Jeremy Slap. What an iconic moment that would be. It is. Oh, no oh, way! Oh, no yes! way! Yes! No yes! way! Yes! <laughs> no way. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> There's no way. There's just no way. Yes! There, <laughs> this has to be fake. Yes! This has to be fake. Unbelievable! It's destiny, Jeremy! <laughs> That has to be. It landed fixed. on Jerry Slap! <laughs> Literally just added it. Let's go! <laughs> Full screen! I think we have to end the stream on, on this. Alright. <laughs> I, I, there's no better way to end it. Jeremy Slap is what the wheel lands on. What a moment! Do you believe in this? There it goes. Unbelievable! Uh, wait, but how much does it slap you? 50. Like it's what it always is. Uh, if anybody wants to slap Tom, I, I, I will say I will say we'll put like thirty seconds on the clock. If if more supers come in, we can stay live. But yeah, if anybody, if anybody wants to slap Tom for his shit takes, fifty. Or what 20, a moment! Just, Have you taken a, a paper plate slap yet? <laughs> I don't know. I don't. Oh, we, I really wish we had, we we had hot dogs. It'd have been so funny. David. Fifty, still fifty, buddy. Got, got to keep it consistent. I, after Sunday's shit show, I can't be changing the the prices there. All right, this side for it. What are the? I mean, the odds were what? Literally like one in twenty, one in eighteen. What a moment, Jeremy. I love you. Never change, buddy. There you go. Leroy did get a discount on the Jeremy slap today. Did I? Did I scrape you a little bit? A little bit. The edge. I'm sorry, buddy. I'm sorry. There you go. What a moment. My low key. Okay, it kind of hurt a little bit. Kind of got me on the on the top of the team. Oh, I did? I'm sorry. Yeah. Shit. Hey, somebody send it in so I can slap the shit out of Tom. We got a five from Leroy here. We someone we we have to clip that, by the way. Like like the actual slap moment was 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 iconic. Like oh, to think. One in eighteen odds it happens there. I got a discount for the Jeremy slap today. Cheers. What are you drinking today? Oh, you need that. Oh, you've... That's what I drink on my downtime. Raiders Live. Not a sponsor. There you go. I don't, I don't, I don't, think, I don't think it's going to happen for you, Chugs. Uh, Everyone loves you, though. There you go. $25, $25 do we add a couple more slaps and spin the wheel again? We can spin the wheel, and, and we can add some more slaps to the wheel, sure. That's fine. Add, add three more Tom slaps and one more... Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> Imagine if it lands on Chug slap again. That would be hilarious. <laughs> would be absolutely hilarious. What a moment. Cowboys doing things. It lands on a Jeremy slap, which we add last second. Wow. I, I hope this just adds to the hype of the Cowboys season. Which will this, is, this is uncharted territory for us, Jeremy. We're not normally this excited in March. This, 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 mean- this could go really well or really badly, but I'm happy to be here anyway. I don't think it's going to happen. 30 more seconds here, Chugs. I don't, I don't think it's going to happen for you. 30 seconds. I was really looking forward to slapping. I know you were. And then it just it just so happens to land on a Chug slap. So is this is this the Cowboys year? I, I will never say those words. Really? Why I will, not? Because that's bad juju. This is 100 per- there's, there's it's bad. It's bad there's TikTok boy. There's no way this could go wrong for the Cowboys. I, we, we, we have been there. We have we we have been there. I'm I mean, I'm not playing that game. There's literally nothing that could go wrong. I'm not I'm not I'm not playing that game. That, that is a dangerous game to play. Five dollars from Jeff C. So I guess we'll put thirty more seconds on the clock here in a second. But he says, Are the Jones gonna sign anyone else today? Cheers. 
uh, the yacht has been cooking with gas because they're on the they were at least on the yacht in the Bahamas slash the the uh, Caymans. Maybe Hankins. Um, uh, they brought in Tra Travian Howard. They might make more. I think they have like three or four more signings left in them here. I heard Bobby Wagner could sign today with the Cowboys. <sighs> Bobby Wagner signs. It's gonna be uh, <sighs> it's it, it, it it's it's gonna be something. So, cheers to you, Jeff. Then Thirty more seconds. Hundred percent. It would be the Cowboys year. That would be the expectation, but I'm not going to say it. Not going to say it. NFC still wide open. Absolutely. Remember, remember, we have the best two. This is our year. We still have the best two quarterbacks in, in the division. Hurts no, and Dak. No, 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 no. Danucci plays for the <laughs> the Sea Dragons. Dragons. Now. So you just someone, won. someone, I have not been watching any of the XFL. Someone told me he threw three picks the day before Cooper Rush resigned, and they're like, "Is it connected?" I'm like, "Well, it's not like Danucci Maybe. was going to be a piece for you." So. Um, there you go. So nobody, nobody wants nope, to slap Tom. No one did it. Are you, are you sure? There you go. All right. Fly nope. Eagles Kill it. Get the end screen. Get out of here. Oh, super chat. Five dollars. Eagles fight. Shut up. Score a touchdown. One, two, three. Mute me. Just, just, just mute everything. Mute, mute everything. No, no, no. Mute it. Mute it, Patrick. Get out of here. We're breaking the curse. Winning back to back. Let's go. Go do your job. Go do your job. Yes, we, we audio was dead because we muted it. We, we, <laughs> we muted him in the middle of the song because he was going to just scream it. Uh, Leroy, replacing Zeke with uh, is eating whether the lion is roaring or the yacht boys are cooking. Ooh. Yacht boys are cooking? I, I also like the lion is roaring. Ooh, that will I, probably later on because we do need to change four stars. We need we do need to change that. Yacht boys are cooking. I mean that's that is super appealing. We will we'll make it like some type of like engagement poll comment type of thing. But man, that'd be that'd be sweet. That'd be fun. All right, I think that's it for today's live show. Iconic moment of the that was of awesome. the wheel landing on slap Jeremy. Yacht Boys are cooking might be a good one. We'll, we'll do it on social media. We'll Eventually, we'll change the four stars. We'll probably wait until after the draft uh, would be my guess there. But Leroy, everyone else who super chatted, thank you all so much. The Cowboys make more news. We'll make more videos. Cheers, guys. Appreciate it.